lows of seven. Now tomorrow, Sunday, more rain. Those showers from overnight tonight will continue through until lunchtime with highs of seven. Staying quite breezy as well. But things are definitely going to improve from Monday onwards. Highs of seven, just a light breeze throughout the day. It will be dry. There'll be sunshine and light cloud all the way through the day. Tuesday will continue to be dry, though not as much sunshine on Tuesday. Very cloudy all the way through the day and slightly warmer on Wednesday. Highs of 11, very cloudy again. Now there is a small chance of a light shower on Wednesday, but for most of the day it will continue to be dry. And in fact, it looks like it's going to be dry for the rest of the week. Thank you very much, Joanne Webb, with your full 4 day forecast. Let's look at uh, what's happening in the world of sport now. Sunday's clash between, well, tomorrow's clash between um, champions Manchester City and Chelsea promises to be the game of the Premier League weekend, but there's plenty more going on in the top flight. George Alderman reports. With City not in action until tomorrow, Liverpool can go back to the top of the table by avoiding defeat at home to Bournemouth this afternoon. Manager Jurgen Klopp is keen to ensure they keep giving everything in the title race especially at Anfield. We know about the job. We know that we have to we have to perform on highest level. We have to fight for every yard and um, we have to to yeah, really to be tough. And then um, our crowd is there, I'm, I'm sure. Before that match, Manchester United now win over struggling Fulham will take them into the Champions League places. Bottom side Huddersfield host another top four contender in Arsenal. There's a big meeting at St Mary's between two sides trying to avoid relegation with Southampton taking on Cardiff. Further tributes will be paid to the Welsh team's record signing Emiliano Sala ahead of the match. He's now confirmed to have died after his body was recovered from a crash light aircraft in the English Channel. Cardiff manager Neil Warnock admits all they can do now is give everything for him on the pitch. You know, it's, it's one of those things that we, you have to, you know, you have to move on. And unfortunately for me, the players have, have grasped that, really, in the performances. And now I think we've got, you know, 13 cup finals now. Former Watford boss Marco Silva could be in for a hostile reception when he returns to Vicarage Road with Everton. Crystal Palace play West Ham and Burnley go to Brighton in the evening game. Sunday's action starts with Tottenham against Leicester before Manchester City take on Chelsea. City boss Pep Guardiola believes their opponents are genuine title contenders, but Chelsea boss Maurizio Sarri is not so sure. We can uh, win something, of course, but uh, in Premier League uh, there is a fighting uh, between uh, Liverpool uh, and uh, Manchester City. I think uh, you know very well my opinion. Uh, at the moment, uh, Manchester City is the best team in Europe. The latest round of fixtures finishes with Wolves versus Newcastle on Monday night. George Alderman there for us here on LBC London News. Let's look at uh, some showbiz news now on Saturday the uh, 9th of February, ahead of the BAFTAs tomorrow. Uh, later on, we'll hear from Christian Bale, who's up for a BAFTA for Best Actor for his... Uh, 